is very salty that's why they come up and they breathe through the air when they're breathing through the air they are also storing oxygen side by side and they use that oxygen underwater so you're like every six hours high tide six hours low tide in one day two time high tide and two time low tide every day five to seven meter water up and down but in full moon and in new moon day the water gets two two meter more high So now we're back in our hut, we call it that. So it has been an interesting day. We got to this eco, um, eco village, what are you doing? And we went for a walk, well after some lunch, which was nice, we went for a walk. And then we went out with a boat. Halo, what are you doing? Um, yeah, so that was pretty nice. And then everyone was getting off to walk in the mud, as you can see before. Joe almost fallen. Yeah, and now we're gonna listen to some local music. Go to bed and excuse this person up here. <laughs> because I I'm not feeling very well um, I'm really bloated my body's not doing well with sleeping bad eating weird times eating new food so yeah need to rest a bit but they're still playing you can probably hear that in the background anyway I wanted to talk a little bit more about the place we're at uh, this village or well, like this island uh, is one of uh, Many, oh, I can't remember, but like hundreds of islands in this area. And this national park is um, is a big one, which is shared with Bangladesh. So we are really close to Bangladesh now. And there are so many tigers here. And this is the only place in the world where we got tigers that are eating humans. Uh, so there are quite a lot of people who get eaten by tigers here. Um, so he said like in this village here uh, there are three 
uh, things you can do for a living. Either you're a farmer um, working with agriculture, uh, or you do fishing, or honey like extraction. Uh, so if you do fishing, then you'll have to go down in the water, and there might be cro crocodiles there. So it's that one is dangerous, and a lot of people die from that. But like if you're gonna extract honey, that's the most dangerous thing because you need to get into the tiger forest and uh, you're not allowed to defend yourself. Uh, so if a tiger gets there, then you're screwed. Um, because I mean, they are like almost going extinct. So uh, yeah, so a lot of people uh, are just getting attacked by tigers and getting eaten, so they die. Uh, and apparently this village uh, was attacked by a tiger in 2011, so one person died and, well, at least one, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure about the fact here, but, yeah, so, far away from home now. early and we're on a boat and we're gonna try to see some tigers as you can see there are about like 110 tigers here in a quite big area so we'll see it's nice how are you supposed to use this toilet in Kolkata and uh, we've just got to a new guest house so we're gonna stay and it's quite nice it's very big um, yeah it's called the uh, Leonardo da Vinci room I think yeah so now it's just that we can get the aircon to work but we'll figure it out So we're outside a restaurant now waiting for a table and it's quite busy tonight in Kolkata because it's a festival and it's really people everywhere. I mean we don't know how it usually is um, but it's quite a lot of people. But we like it. We like it. 